How does it feel to be without mommy for a whole week, Saga? Let's find out. <laughs> oh man, mom guilt is heavy. But I feel so many emotions. <laughs> I feel excited. I feel guilty. Yeah, those are the two, excited and guilty. But I know it's for the best. I know that it will allow Max and Saga to bond and it will allow me to refill on my fuel tank. You be sucking your mama dry, literally. Sucking me dry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, ah. My high school friend of over 20, like it's almost 25 years. 25 years, okay? Uh, I went to her wedding and now she's uh, bought a home. It's a beautiful, huge ass home. So she's having a housewarming. Um, I'm going for that, but uh, it's warm and it's cold here. I think it might get to uh, minus degrees. So I'm just rambling just to ramble, clearly. I am nervous. <laughs> I will see you at the hotel. I'm staying one night at the airport and there is a hotel in the airport because my flight is six in the morning, which means I have to get to the airport at 3 a.m. Bye, my Surfshark. <laughs> Surfshark is not only a loyal sponsor, but they are so clutch when it comes to traveling. If you're like me and you're on social media and you're in public places using public Wi-Fi, it is imperative that you use your own VPN, virtual private network. This will help conceal your information and keep you safe from hackers, from attackers, from online cyber freaks that want to get to know you without your permission. So turn that VPN on. Also, Surfshark allows you to block those cookies and be safe, prevent hackers from hacking. For your chance to save 83% off and three months free, use the promo code MAXMAYA. Now that I'm here, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna log on to public Wi-Fi and turn my Surfshark VPN on. <sighs> Oh, I'm so tired. Okay. And so what I'm gonna do tonight is wash my hair, detangle it, and do a two-strand twist. <gasps> I need an airport hairstyle. Look at me sucking in to have abs. Being self-conscious on my vlog. Look at this. Hair down the hair. So I finished my hair. I just realized there's a gym here. Let's get some body movement going. I am so proud of myself. I usually work out three days a week. I didn't do anything for two weeks. I was sick. And then what happened? Oh, I had Swedish class like four days a week. I spoke to my trainer on Copilot. I still use the app Copilot. And she's like, how can I help you reach your goals of three days a week? And I'm like, I have no time. And then she was like, how about five to 10 minute workouts? I'm like, yes, <laughs> I can figure out five to 10 minutes. So it sounds pathetic but I would rather pathetic than nothing. <laughs> Next morning. Oh, okay. It's morning. It's like, what time is it? Oh, it's 3.47. I'm running behind schedule, so <laughs> good thing I'm at the airport. I was pumping. <laughs> I forgot. I was pumping this morning uh, and listening. Whoa! And listening to my note from my girl, Glow, Glow Graphics. Check her out on Instagram and YouTube. But yeah, I was pumping because I'm afraid of losing my supply while I'm gone. So my goal is to pump at least three times a day, morning, noon, and dinner. Anyways, let me catch this flight. Okay, so I'm here at the airport and I was waiting for my suitcase and a woman walks up to me and says, what's my name? I tell her Maya, Maya Washington. And she's like, 
So your bag isn't here. It's gonna arrive tomorrow. <gasps> But I'm here, I'm in Houston, and I'm in Texas! Two hours later. I got a whip, okay? Enterprise is my go-to, and Fred hooked me all the way up. <laughs> what did he get me? Some red Dodge. <laughs> To think I'm, I was in the countryside of Sweden, cold, you know, pulling carrots to a red Dodge in Houston, Texas, is making me cackle inside. One nap later. Okay, so we're, you're taking me to get my f Now this is my friend Celestina. I didn't have an intro because, well, we were just too busy being present and Celestina is private. But she did make an exception for me because, you know. You're taking me to get my feet done. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. <laughs> She's getting her feet done. <laughs> Tina's <been> like, <laughs> you need to get those feet done. You're going to a premiere <laughs> and you have yes, open please. toe shoes. Yes, so please. I'm gonna get my toes done. Yeah. Where are we? We're in River Oaks. River Oaks. River Oaks. Let's walk through and then we can go Okay. Around. So where the meal place is. My toes are jacked. Take a look at the meal place first or you want no, to? No, no, no. Let's go here. Okay. And then um what else? Toes and it's hot. It is hot. Oh, and look at what I'm wearing. Spring. This is not hot. <laughs> it's hot. This is Texas and it's about winter. <laughs> it's end of October. What is it? It's, I swear it's 25. It's 25 degrees. It's yeah. 25 degrees. It's yes. like something cold in Sweden. What, how are you doing, Max? <laughs> Meanwhile. You're not missing anything, Maya. <laughs> Miss you, Saga. <laughs> <laughs> Post. Let's go get some food. <laughs> All right, the bellies are filled. I did not expect to eat Filipino food and African. West African food in Houston, Texas. in Houston, Texas. <laughs> Let alone any like period. I just like, oh, I don't know what I'm gonna eat, but really good food. Five out of five. Celestina and her husband Corey are friends with the owners of Pure Noir, which is a husband and wife black owned winery, and they have a tasting room here in Houston. that these wines were by far the best I have ever tried. I would have bought more than four bottles if I wasn't flying back to Sweden. <laughs> I did a quick one night stay in Austin to rendezvous with my friends, Chantel and Makiba, who were also here for Chantel's movie premiere. But before they arrived, I did a quick little shopping. Been to Whole Foods forever. Okay, so the reason why I'm here is flowers. Let's 
So this is for Chantel for her premiere. All the florists are closed. Um, I haven't been to a Whole Foods forever, so this is exciting. Oh, shall I? 40, that's for me. <laughs> Why is this bigger? 20, oh, there's price, hmm. Ah, let's go with this one. More moments later. <laughs> Yo, yo! Lady of the hour! Oh my god, stop! <laughs> so inspired by your consistency with vlogging. <laughs> no, for real. I just started. Cause, okay, um, what is that, the Canon? This is the Sony. Oh, so um, What's the place oh. called? The oh, beer the beer plant? Uh, no way. Oh, so this we did start the top. Activities to do in, in Austin? Oh my god. What you can climb. You can oh. climb. Holy. Can you see? So we're here in the W Hotel. This is the before. This is the before. Get, get ready with me. <laughs> A night out. <laughs> Booty, booty, rocking everywhere. Ooh, this yeah. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Black on black. Hold denim. on, come closer. Okay, so tell us about this look. So we're doing the black on black denim today. You know what I'm saying? Corset, denim, Zara, jeans. Ooh. Don't remember. And then of course you know we can't forget <laughs> the slick down. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Just a slick down side part. We out here. Movie premiere. Daniel's gotta die. Hey -o! Let's go, Daniel's baby. Daniel's gotta die. <laughs> Hope they buy it so that everyone can watch. Come on, Austin Film Fest. Let's go, Austin. <laughs> <laughs> Show me your outfit, honey. You let them know. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Mama's outside. Ooh. Mama's outside. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Slap his mom. So <laughs> obvious reasons I couldn't film the movie but Chantel is a phenomenal actress you're right you should. I should just vlog we're in Target aka yeah. Target <laughs> I'm looking to buy a suitcase because oh, I want to shop more <laughs> I'd like to shop right. more the reality is <laughs> I need more things you gotta bring things back to Sweden to, yeah to Sweden more I'm being so silly because I'm like I can't get none of this stuff so I might as well. You might as well. Might as Load well. up. Oh yeah. Christmas is here. Christmas is where it's at. <laughs> okay. So we get in what? Suitcase? What do you need? Girl, I'm just here for the ride. Okay. Impossible Christmas stuff. See you later. Oh my god, this is beautiful. This is fun. To, I mean, for a pajama. Oh, this is nice. Oh, it's a hood. Three months, 12 Three months, months, let's see. Oh, that's pretty. That's like warm. Mm -hmm. What's the weather like up there? Cold. <laughs> I ended up getting, putting this in the, it's so nice and colorful and it's so soft. And it goes with my nails. <laughs> Oh my god. 
Target sells extensions? So cute. Oh my goodness. Early the next morning. One step at a time. Right. <laughs> First of all, let's just get into the this real estate. This oh, Houston real estate. This Houston real estate. We got yeah. square footage. On footage, on footage, on footage. 2700, baby. Footage, get into it. 2700 square yeah. feet? Wow. Yeah. So my home kind of just fits. <laughs> <laughs> I think it just actually, yeah, this is a good. This is a bit too wide, but my home. No is way, like, stop. No, I'm not lying. Here, this is my home. From there to there. Stop. Don't worry, I'm a techie. I know what to do. <laughs> this top button here. Okay. That's. <laughs> I don't know but look, to put here, a lens. This, there. There. That's just. Hold on, let's. Is it giving 730 realness? So this on iPhone is giving you a lot <laughs> so I was like yo I'm not gonna get this on the countryside of Sweden <laughs> right <laughs> let me order it they had it shipped within six hours like to her door yep. so Did you order last night? Order 10 again? yeah something oh no 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 sorry oh, um, like 8 8 30 yeah. but like a little a little backstory in the countryside of Sweden countryside of Sweden it's like a week <laughs> prime like primed i don't they don't stuff comes from germany amazon sweden is not the jam so <laughs> i have to really ask myself do i want this because i'm gonna wait a week to get it <laughs> Damn. so i had to do that before i left you have no idea how privileged you americans are okay <laughs> Antel had has a gym membership <laughs> And a guest pass. weather actually let me show that it's raining right look at my whip look at my whip hey, let's go. <laughs> Not this red dodge yeah. two hours later here at La hobby lobby oh, rain, or shine. rain or shine we're at a hobby lobby Oh wow, Christmas. Christmas time, y'all. Oh, Jackie. Grab yourself a cart, you need it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna need it. It looks just like the other location, too. So I know where to go. Because they're exactly the same layout. Yeah, they all look the same. Lobby is where it's at. What on earth? I am losing my mind. I'm finally here with Chantel and I have time to just peruse. And it's so like, I don't need this and I want this. But like, a bookmark. I'm like, ooh, a bookmark, it's magnetic. For what book, Maya? You don't even read paper books anymore. <laughs> like, oh, projects in progress. I make pretty things, confessions. And then there's like, I mean, there's so much stuff. Like I was looking at this for my sewing stuff. But I'm like, girl, when are you sewing? <laughs> like, too much fun stuff. Oh, crochet needles. Look at all the fun colors, pastels, rubber. It's just so much. Oh, I will say it's so like things in Sweden are so expensive. It's just like 
pricey, expensive. And so you're less likely to buy a bunch of stuff you don't need because of the price. Now here, it's like, I'll buy five. <laughs> like, okay, like all the yarn you could think of, all the yarn you could ever possibly imagine. Like, and me, I would say one of my biggest downfalls, <laughs> my uh, a quality that I don't like about myself. When I see so many things, I get overwhelmed and I just get stuck and I can't make a decision. But like, look at this. So this is all the cottons. What did you get? Um, I'm putting together my new centerpiece for the, the Christmas holiday. So here we are. Yay. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Thank you, Hobby Lobby. Thank you. Thank you, Hobby Lobby. You get the idea. I'm in the parking lot here in Costco. Costco is the, like, is the best example of what Houston is. Just big, bulk shopping. <laughs> Let's go. What, what do we need for this party? Coconut shrimp. Yeah, coconut shrimp. And some meatballs. This is Texas. <laughs> you know, in Sweden, it's very like the same like they don't have you can't do this no because <laughs> they don't sell this you know this is what i would buy what is it soy sauce oh okay. by the jug yeah. <laughs> sign me up <laughs> 12 pack that's what we're talking about Costco is all about the giant cans for your huge family and your huge home Huge. We're not doing no tiny delicatessen sizes out here. Beans. You want beans? You get these kinds of beans. <laughs> A big old bag of pinto beans to feed your family. Because you got lots of kids. Cakes. Which cakes? The slab, like the big one. So I'm here at my friend's here and we have tables set up and we're looking to do centerpieces. And I thought, let's get Baby's breath. Costco, I got the baby's breath. So I'm testing it out to see what looks best. I'm gonna have to clean up after. I've been pumping as you saw. <laughs> This is like the collection. <laughs> I usually freeze it, but um, what I started doing was drinking it. But I, I can't, I just can't. Maybe I could take a bath? You could what? do like a milk bath? I don't have time for all that. So what I'm gonna do, <laughs> I'm gonna put this outside on the plants. I feel so weird like pump and dump. So I'm just gonna do a little prayer. Thank you, Mother Earth. Thank you, Mother Maya. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> It feels really weird throwing it out. I, I don't have time. I don't have time to do anything with this, okay? If it was at home, it would be frozen. We'd put it in smoothies. We would do all kinds of things, but I'm on vacation. Let's put this into the plants, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> At least it didn't go down a drain. I refuse. It's hard. I did that at the airport. On the plane. On the plane, I was in the bathroom pumping because it was like a nine hour flight. And I had to put it down the sink. So I, I did five ounces down the sink and then I drank two ounces. <laughs> I couldn't do seven ounces. It's still a psychological thing. I don't know. I feel like a little bit of a carnivore or something. I don't know. <laughs> Pick me! Pick me! <laughs> I have this joke with Max because my boobs are so big. I do the pick me! <laughs> Those girls in school. <laughs> so good. She cooked this in the air fryer. I yeah. want an air fryer now. I mean, I've wanted one, but she really sold it to me. Did you put any oil in this? No, well, I just brushed the bottom. You brushed it. 
It's not brushed the meat, just brushed the, uh, the bottom. So it's like fried, mm -hmm. but not. Mmm, yeah. so good. Okay. I need one of these. Yeah. It's worth it. One of these. Time saver. We got one of these, and then moving our way this way. <laughs> this is fried. <laughs> this is fried. Yeah. I mean, we don't have enough room. Activities. Yeah. They just don't go together. <laughs> Mm. Well, Corey, you taking that picture on? Good morning. It is a Sunday. It is a Sunday in Houston, Texas. And do you know what that means? That means I'm going to Lakewood. Lakewood. I have been a hardcore listener of Joel Osteen for 12 years. He has been the one consistent pastor, preacher, who I listen to, um at least once a week so i'm gonna get ready and we're gonna check it out it's huge i'm going to the 8 30 service because my friend is having her housewarming and i need to come back and make sure everything is fine i'm gonna help her with that um oh so yeah let's get ready underground parking what is this bucket list check <laughs> day with a spring in your step, excited about your future, expecting God to show out in your life. That expectancy is what allows God to do great things. That's your faith at work. You may be in a difficult time. Thoughts whisper, it's never going to change. You've seen your best days. That was a dream come true. Thank you, Joel Osteen. Thank you, Lakewood, for that, giving me all kinds of life. Now, um, I would say because I have watched and listened to Joel Osteen for 12 years, people like to say that he repeats himself, but I'm like, I don't care. I need him to re repeat the word if needed so I can feel it in my cellular, molecular level. So thank you for that message. Um, a, a little bit about my faith walk. So you guys, maybe you, you might have seen or not have seen, but I had that whole YouTube rise and a huge part of that obviously all of it was thanks to God and the inspiration that I got from people like Joel Osteen there's many others um, but going to this you know material success and to to go like to the countryside of Sweden I can't help but feel that my best days were behind me and now these days are like they're just different and and God is finished with me but Joel's sermon reawakens in me that my best days are ahead of me and it reinforces the message that I needed to hear so I've already been you know programming my mind body and soul with God is still working in me through me so I'm excited for the future thank you for that message Joel Osteen thank you Lakewood now let's go to this housewarming <laughs> Houston, Texas was exactly what I needed. I needed to connect with my family. I needed to connect with friends. I also wanted to see what it would be like to be back on US soil. Let's just say this is the first of many trips and hopefully Saga and Max will join me on the next adventures.